can't help you. Please, please stop. We'll see. Timothy, Jared, hello, Jeff in Las Vegas. Hey, Jeff, how are you doing? Going. I'm doing great. Thank you both for joining me today to talk about The Hive. Congratulations on a great thriller, great mood, and uh, congratulations. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. so that. much. Well, Timothy, you know, a sci-fi take on a home invasion, a relationship problems add to the tension. What kind of problems is this couple having? Well, that's the whole thing that you think of when the movie starts is like, where are, where is this couple right now in the relationship? And that was kind of a hard thing to deal with because it's like, how long have things been going bad? Be because they're, they're obviously very rocky. Uh, they're taking one last chance, you know, kind of to, they've probably taken multiple last chances and, you know, that has to do with you know, uh, couples that have kids, you know, they, they keep trying to try to do the best thing for their kids. And so when this movie starts, it's been bad for a long time, but there's always been that little glimmer of hope, like maybe this night that we go out, it's, it's going to get a little bit better. Yeah. It seems like your character was trying more than she was, than more than Penny was. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that was kind of a difficult thing to go by is like where they are, what's happened, what's happening. And we didn't want anything forced. Like we, we wanted to try to make it as realistic as possible. You know, everything's not going to be lovey dovey just to, you know, try to make someone more likable. We we just want the real raw thing of how a relationship really would be. And Jared, tell me about your secret on getting the most out of the actors, because there's a lot of emotional scenes. How do you get your actors to react to certain things in a film like this? Well, I feel like uh, it all started with the casting. Um, uh, through writing this whole thing, I was writing with people in mind that I had worked with before. Obviously, Tim, because we um, we we came up with this idea together and, and you know I was out writing for Tim for his part I knew what he can excel at uh the most with a story like this so uh I was writing that specifically for him and for the the other characters same thing I I, I had people in mind that I knew would do the job uh or, or do the characters justice um except for uh Penny because that was that was the only person that I I didn't know exactly who we were going to have. So Tim and I went through a pretty extensive, pretty um, pretty quick but extensive uh, uh, auditioning for that character, and we just fell in love with Christy. And the, I I think that's where the the main key is for getting getting the right performances. But obviously, you know, talking through intricacies with each. Uh, actor before each scene so i would say timothy working with christine uh how was she as your co-star uh did you guys uh have special kind of rehearsal together or something because you guys had great chemistry oh thank you so much uh well me and jared cast uh christy together to play penny and what i really liked about her she has this kind of like young mother homey vibe going on and, and that's what we wanted we wanted it realistic like it a young couple, but realistic that they have kids. And then also at the same time, um, if, you know, it could just go by in a second, you would never even know that it was said in the movie where he's writing a script and she's like, that's the dream, you know, you writing me starring in it where that kind of gives away that she was an actress. So we wanted that down to earth homey vibe, but also she could still be an actress. So that was kind of the idea behind it. We didn't have any special rehearsals or anything like that. It, it, it's just the feeling that we wanted and that we thought she could bring to the movie. And she did exactly, you know, what we thought it was going to be. She brought it. She did, definitely. And Jared, this is your first feature film, your debut. 
So what was your first shot on the first day? And what was your last shot on the last day of this film? So uh, we actually shot it in sequence. Really? So yeah. So very first shot was the very first shot you see in the movie. <laughs> and the very the very last shot. I think uh, actually the, the last day was mixed up a little bit. So uh, the very last shot, I believe, was the shot uh, of Penny sitting on the uh, tied to the to the vanity, right? Tim, is that right? The... She was tied to the vanity when you walk in at the end. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that was the last shot because we had to shoot it at night. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Does that answer oh, the cool. question? Sorry. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and oh, Timothy, okay. I, I, go ahead, Timothy. How did he do as a director for his first feature film? What kind of director is he? uh amazing uh <laughs> we had already worked together i i was already cast in a film he did a long time ago and i just like working with jared so i mean it was just really easy for me it's not like someone that i just came in to know on set I, we already had a relationship so yeah it was amazing um i wanted to add a comment about the schedule i had uh I had previously acted in uh I had previously acted in some movies that the schedule was all mixed up. So like you're shooting the last shot first, you're shooting the middle shot second, like and it's it's all over the place. And I told Jared that I want to try to film this as much in order as possible so we can have everyone flow through what's going on in the script. Cause I feel like that's the best thing for success especially when it comes to the actors, because there's no confusion about like what's going on. You know, like you're not mixing up, doing multiple different scenes that are way out of order, way different feelings on the same day. And and we just want to set it up like that to, to make it easier for the actors to get into where they need to be and, and do what they need to do. And we, I don't think we filmed it exactly in order, but it was as close as possible. Yeah, it, it was pretty much... It was pretty much through the sequence of the script. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I do feel like, because I've done some longer form shorts before where you, we've had to mix scenes up and stuff like that. And I would, I just, I would highly recommend any time you can shoot like this to shoot like this, because especially with a story like this where it evolves over the course of a night, you don't have to... Uh, go back and forth between emotion uh, uh, emotional moments and whatnot between days right you can you can evolve like as as the you know people behind the camera and the people in front of the camera you can evolve with over the time of the shoot so it it kind of feels more right that well gentlemen it, it's an excellent thriller i wish i could talk about more but there's so much spoilers in this movie you know i don't want to say anything you know yeah it's because it just i love how it unfolds um, but you guys did a great job and I appreciate your time today and best of luck with the film. Thank you, Jeffrey. Good. Thank you. Good to meet you.